Okay, so tonight's uh, exercise uh, was to get the engine running, which I've just done for 60 seconds, just to get the, the uh, coolant circulating through the block. Um, the uh, engine will run up to temperature tomorrow, hopefully. Um, what I've done today is I've fitted a small um, aluminium um, piece inside this rubber hose, which has got a 2mm hole drilled through the centre of it, which should restrict the flow of the water back to the header tank. Um, I think that's the reason why it's been overheating at Tickover, is because the water's not being forced through the radiator. It was taking the easiest path, which was basically out the swell pot, through the hose, back to the top of the header tank, and then back around the uh, block again, rather than through the radiator, which is where it's supposed to go. The um, sensor housing uh, has been modified uh, on the rear. <laughs> fingers in the way. On the rear, I've had the two holes TIG welded, because they're not being used, basically. Um, and I've uh, relocated the dashboard water temperature sensor underneath. See if we can get the camera in there. This is high. Uh, and I've also refitted the original EGR blanking plate because the one I made was a bit thin uh, and must have flexed a bit because there's water at the back of here uh, and it was actually leaking a little bit. So it runs. Um, it's very smelly in here. I can't run it for too long. I'll just uh, poison myself with carbon monoxide I've used. So I'll try it again tomorrow. Um, get the antifreeze circulating around the block and um, and see what temperature it gets up to. Hopefully it won't get as high as it's been getting before. If this doesn't work, then the next step is to actually take the, the thermostat out. And uh, and then we'll see what happens. If it still overheats, oh, God knows what's going on. Anyway, cheers.